It's Bubs. How are you? Oh, today we are going to be demonstrating and reviewing a very unique product. I have bought my fair share of terrible products on Facebook ads. As cool as the products seem, you really don't know if it's a gimmick or not. And since it's my job to test products, I thought, why not? This product is called Juvelips and it is a natural lip plumper. One to two minutes is all it takes for plumper lips. Results last for 60 hours or even longer after repeated use. Completely natural and safe to use. No acids or, it sounds like no acids. No acids or chemical injections. Giblets works by carefully regulating vacuum to boost blood flow to your lips, giving you fuller, more voluptuous lips that you've always wanted. Has a one year warranty and 30 day guarantee. If you guys remember quite a while ago, there was something known as the Kylie Jenner challenge where people were getting small containers like shot glasses, uh, little candle holders, and basically just sucking to create a vacuum. And what it did was it made the lips swell. The big problem with that was it also cause major bruising. Supposedly, this is a regulated vacuum, so it gives you the perfect amount of suction that doesn't hurt you. So here's what it looks like. Just kind of looks like a shaver. You can see it has a removable piece for you to clean, and then it also comes with these felt pieces to ensure that the suction is evenly distributed. It actually came with batteries in the packaging as well, which I appreciated. In general, the whole thing just sounded really simple. So if you guys catch my vlogs, you guys will know that on the day I received this, of course I went to try it out and it just didn't work. Since it has a 30 day guarantee, I emailed the customer service, basically just told them, oh, I don't think it's working out. Can you instruct me on the next steps on how to return the item? In the email they said, before you return, we just wanna make sure you're using the device properly. They gave me a list of pointers and tips and they said, okay, if that doesn't work, then here's address to a turn tree. And since they were so nice in email, and I only really tried it initially. I thought I'll spend the next couple of days testing it out. So I realized that even though it sounds simple, put in your lips and then press the power button, it actually has a slight learned skill. I discovered that the best way to do it was not to pout. The most effective way for it to work with the lips is to sort of purse your lips together like this. Um, maybe it just creates a better suction. It's a little bit hard to explain, kind of like, you know, when you're like kissing someone. So it's almost kind of like practicing uh, with the Juvel Lips to get the best suction. Do you know, I'm just gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna go straight to the demo and show you guys whether this product works or not. There is currently nothing on my lips, but it does say that for a better suction, uh, do you apply lip balm or wet your lips? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lip balm. I've always had teeny tiny lips and I've always been okay with that because I just always felt like it suits my face. With that being said, at the same time, I do know that bigger, fuller lips is all the craze these days. I guess there's something very sensual and seductive about having fuller lips. Sometimes I like to use a matte lip color to uh, just make them appear fuller. So put in your lips and then press the power button. Looking at the mirror, I can see that it's left a slight ring around my lips, but if it's like yesterday, the ring disappears pretty fast. Regarding if it was painful, there was definitely no discomfort. It does say that for your first time, to only use it once or twice, and then as you build up the tolerance, you can do it four to six times. So for today's video, we're gonna do it four times. Number two. Sorry. I can even see like a slight bluish hue at the center immediately afterwards. So I'm not even sure if that's a good thing. Second time round, not only can I see it, but I can feel it on my lips. I can feel the lower lip is definitely so much more swollen. I can imagine if you do have your foundation on, it is going to cause smearing. So maybe recommend to do this before your foundation is on um i don't seem to have this problem today because i have harder foundation third time this is always hard <laughs> do we even need to do it for a fourth time let's compare to before 
I think it's pretty obvious that the results are certainly incredibly visible. Now, how does it look with makeup? And this is the Maybelline Matte Ink. I have so much space! I don't know why, but I keep going like this. So here you can see with the lip product on, the effects are maximized even more. Right, let's share the pros and cons. Uh, very obvious pro is, as you can see, it, it does work. And it is relatively simple to use once you do learn the slight skill. However, cons. One, this device is quite pricey for sure. For the design and what it does, at $150, it is on the steep side. Two, even though it does say that it lasts for 68 hours, when I tested this out yesterday and I went out, what I discovered was that in about two hours, my lips, in my experience, went back to its normal state. It works only to an extent. It certainly has its limitations and it's something that you will have to keep doing throughout the day. So if you do have makeup on or lipstick even, it could get messy. You imagine you're out on a date with your boyfriend and you just say, hang on a minute. Mm. Is it great as a long-term solution? Then obviously no. Um, but you know, I can imagine this being quite fun if you're into taking selfies. I wonder if they're gonna make suction devices for here or even here. What was quite funny actually yesterday was I took a selfie and then I sent it to my girlfriends and told them I got lip fillers and it completely fooled them. They actually thought they were real. Looks really natural. <laughs> but I can imagine that if you don't know how to use it properly or you just overdo it, you could bruise. I'm not actually completely sure if I do suit such uh, full lips, but I don't think it's a bad look at all. I, I don't mind it. Maybe for some, the results last longer, but for me, definitely in about an hour or two, it does deflate. So it means that you're most likely gonna have to keep using it during the day if you wanna keep the results. The price tag is just too expensive. If it were even half the price, at least, then it would justify the limitations. So let me know if there's any cool products you want me to try out and I shall talk to you soon. If it's what girls want, why do I find it so funny?